and welcome back to Let's Play Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl. This is episode 23, and I apologize, I'm still sniffly. Now, in the last episode, oh, holy crap. Пришло время. Я вижу твое желание. In the last episode, we arguably finished the game, but we only did the the easy ending. There are other endings that I want to to see. And hopefully, I'll be able to show you. Your path is over. Come to me. The next one in this episode. Oh, that's in average shape, but we can afford to carry it. Пришло время. Я вижу твое желание. Stocking up. Okay, we'll unload both of those. Oh, that's what I'm carrying. Иди ко мне. Ты обретешь то, что заслуживаешь. Пришло время. Я вижу твое желание. Nothing in there. And da -dum. So then. Иди ко мне. Ты обретешь то, что заслуживаешь. Check out down here, and then I'll backtrack. Путь завершён, человек. Иди ко мне. Here we go. Okay, I'm just going to quick save here. Back in a moment, and we're back. Bloody hell. Come on. There we go. Твой путь завершается. Иди ко мне. Now, before we hit the decoder, there we go. Fresh exo. I suppose we can walk around carrying that. No. Five and a half. Don't drop путь that. Завершён, no. человек. Иди ко мне. Okay, well, you've been handy. Thank you very much for being an exoskeleton. So once we hit this switch, we're going to trigger a, a big attack. So off we go. Твой путь завершается. Иди ко мне. Завершён человек. Иди ко мне. And I think it's going to auto change levels here. So I'm going to stop recording and pick up again in a moment. And we are back. We're on the other side of the doorway now. And we can here we've already got some friends. Ah, shot. I'm going to save that. And... Oh, yeah, I remember this bit now. I hate this bit. We're going to die a lot here. And by a lot, I mean more than once.
bounce a grenade into him. Come on. Going to quick save. Some... I can hear that FT. <laughs> oh, we got one. <laughs> Holy crap, and there's an FT over there too. Let's let them come to us. Okay. Oh, I saw that flashlight. Oh, I clipped him. Took up a whole clip in the process. Hardy, hardy, ha. Oh, that got him. Bloody hell, guys. Oh. Bit of a shooting gallery. It's quick save. Come on. I know, I'm ever so brave sticking in this little room here, aren't I? <laughs> ah, gotcha! Made a nice dent there. And quick save. So we've got pretty much a here to the end of the game supply of weapons now at least. We're going to play with this now. Oh, that scope's not anywhere near as good. Yeah, I'm not too happy with that for longer range. So I'm just going to swap that back. Well, and I think I also gave away my position. Whoops, wrong gun. Thought that didn't load itself. Come on, you two. Fine, I'm going to shuffle over here and investigate these bodies. And we've got another FT. Wow, that's in terrible shape, so I'm just going to siphon the ammo. Another FT, which is again in terrible shape. But, ammo. Have some snossage. No wayward monolithians waiting to pounce in here.
we'll shuffle along here now. Well, they know I'm there. What we have is still better. I saw you move there. <clears throat> oh, there is a body there. I wonder where he is. Oh. Okay. Huh. Well, he had me there. Dynamic light fail. Oi. Good shot. Not good enough. But good. The Gauss Rifle. How does that one stack up? Not as good. Can we loot any of these? Oh. Oi! Good try. Don't want to lob a grenade in there though, because I don't want to potentially ruin all those potentially better weapons. What have we got? There's another Gauss Rifle in there too. Right at the back there, an FT. And of course a Monolithian. Well, let's trundle this way, check our weapon. And... Shuffle along here. Quick save. Because I've gone 20 seconds without quick saving, and we all know that's going to end badly. So that used to be a thing, but it's now no longer a thing. This is a, a room. Still a room. Well, that was sloppy, but we got a grenade and some snossage out of it, and I'm going to take this guy's ammo. And a quick save. Nothing there. Physics fail there. God, he had some health. I wonder if there's another one camping in here for me. Yeah, I'm not even gonna ask.
so what goodies here? GP. Is that in better shape than ours? May well be. Now that looks pedantic, but it really makes a difference, that little bit of durability. Something I picked up was quite heavy there. Oh, okay, well. Um, that's half a kilo that I don't need. But frankly, so are they at this point. What else? I'm going to hang on to that one, because I don't know what anomalies I have coming. Same with that one. But I'm going to do a proper save here. Um, 023A. And I'll just quickly check for ammo. None. Onwards. <laughs> what did he have? Nope, a couple of clips. That's the weapon that belongs to our wallflower over there. <coughs> Pardon me. So, who's around this corner? Or oh, VLA. Oh, that's in terrible shape. Go away. Now, according to my radar, we have no one left to, to worry about. Gauss ammo, another exo. So this one's in better shape. However, we shall remember that that one's there. Which I think right there too is a, a good indication of the difficulty I'll say it was intended this area was to have. Because if you recall, it was, what, five minutes ago that we picked up an exoskeleton, and now it's thinking that we've taken such a beating that we needed another. But as you could see, I'd barely scratched the one we had. Not to gloat or anything. Now, we're hitting close quarters, so I am going to switch to this. Nope, the one we've got is better. Ooh, a pistol. Yuck. We certainly don't want that. Now, looking at things objectively, I don't want to drop any of these. Because I want two weapons of, of each caliber so that when I inevitably break something... There we go. Dilemma solved, I'll drop something completely different. What I am going to do though is check all my weapons. You're good. You're good. Let's put something else in you. Let's just give you standard rounds if we can. <coughs> and you. Okay. And a quick save. Now we're not really being hit by that much radiation in here, so... I think that's a good balance to have. More armor. 
And the GP, which is in mint condition. We'll take that. This weapon is by far better than, than the GP. Especially with such a quick reload. Oh! It still doesn't stop us from dying though. What does prevent those pesky deaths is a carefully placed grenade. Of course, what is far more fun is grenades placed with total abandon. Such as that. I can hear you. Not from there though. Come on. Well played. One left. We don't want to go in there though. Not yet. Grab that. Nope, not happening. Actually, have I just screwed myself there? I reckon I have. So I'm going to reload. Oh, what's the bet? That fuse box would have opened it. No? Okay. So not the wrong move there. Reloading is it. You've got a GP. They're both immaculate. I don't want to leave one. But I must, alas, alas. SPSA You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do some damage from out here That's one What I'm doing is incredibly cheap. Let there be no mistake about this. And prone. Okay, now with that we're going to unload and drop that. And we'll go in there. As we can see, there are poltergeists, actually pirate guys, in there. Uh, let's save 23. And before I return to the game, I'm just going to quickly pause to sniffle. So back in a sec. Okay, and we're back. So I've got two to go. 
to take out that one. And you've got nothing. And there we go. I see you have many questions for me. Well, ask them, and then we can decide what to do with you. Who the hell are you? We are the result of an experiment in the creating a super consciousness called Sea Consciousness. The consciousnesses of seven volunteers were connected during the experiment leading to the creation of the super consciousness that is us. We immediately subordinated those who were conducting the experiment and assigned them to tasks we needed them to carry out. According to our calculations, Earth is surrounded by a special informational field, the so-called noosphere. It includes all the inhabitants of the planet with cognitive abilities. Our main goal was to make small adjustments to the noosphere, allowing us to remove things like anger, cruelty, greed, and other negative factors from the planet. Individuals are unable to affect the noosphere, but see consciousness could. Unfortunately, we made a mistake, and our interference spawned the zone, which we had been trying to contain ever since. What is the zone, and how did it come about? What you see is the result of ill-considered intervention in the Earth's noosphere. Attempts to affect the noosphere brought about a local crack. The zone is simply the visible manifestation of this crack. The underlying problem is far greater than you can imagine. Oh, why did it happen here? It was the best place. <clears throat> After the explosion in 1986, there were very few people left in this area, and we could work without fear of being found. Further, there are many powerful antennae here, which are extremely important for our cognitive optimization experiments. And the, the explosion of 86, was that your handiwork too? No, we had nothing to do with that. Most of us were only starting out in science back then. The Chernobyl zone was not used as a testing site for experiments until 1989. And what happened to me? You're a bolt that fell out of the machine. Unfortunately, that did not come to our attention for a long time. From the moment the zone was formed, many people have tried to get to its center, but we cannot let that happen. Humanity is not ready for the truth. That is why we recruited stalkers by promising them the fulfillment of their most coveted desires. Once recruited, they would be sent to protect this own secret. What does the tattoo stalker even mean? Stalker is a coded acronym which we use to mark agents programmed for particular missions. Your mission as our agent was to kill Strelak and his group. They got too close to finding out things they shouldn't know. We created a network of psi fields on the way to the zone center in order to recruit agents. You know one of these fields by the name of Brain Scorcher. When a stalker attempts to reach the zone center in order to fulfill some wish, we acquire control over his consciousness and program him to a specific mission. A mistake was made, and your mission was to kill yourself. What are the death trucks? The transports we use to send our marked agents into the zone. <laughs> they infiltrate the stalker community and carry out our orders without realizing it. Unfortunately, more than half of stalkers die during transportation. The zone is very unstable. You are one of our agents sent to kill Stalag, and we're now trying to work out 
How have you made that mistake? Well, then what next? That depends on you. This zone is growing. We are trying to restrain its expansion, but humanity seems to be intent on hindering our work. Our resources are not limitless, and the bodies connected to sea consciousness eventually die. If you join us, we can restrict the zone's growth. If you decide otherwise, we cannot make a credible prognosis of the outcome. Okay, well, choose your own ending number two. This is where we're going to call it here. We're going to join up with them. But I assure you that's not the end of it. In the next episode we will find yet another ending to the game. After yet more bloodshed. But that's a, that's a job for another day. For now we're going to take a nap. seen Straylock in a long time. Is he dead already? Although he is hardy as a cat, he should be okay, I think. But well... Well, let's leave this place, pal. Let's have some dinner. I know that you are more interested in that than our old friend. just like that that's it for today's episode thank you very much for watching and the next episode will probably be a two or three part brush through to the end um, but until then thank you very much for watching and until next time cheers